Okay, hi guys. Um, so we're still going through our timeline of life here. Today we're gonna talk about the Devonian period. So we're still in the Paleozoic era. The Devonian period lasted from 420 million years ago to 360 million years ago. So a little longer than the Silurian. The Devonian period is a really interesting one. The biggest thing that happened here was the evolution of fish. Now we started to get into that just a little bit at the end of the Silurian period, but fish really just exploded in this period. The first fish were these weird jawless creatures. Um, and some people even say that they were the first vertebrates. A little still unclear because, you know, everything we're doing is based on um, an incomplete fossil record. But the uh, jawless fish here were called os ostracoderms. And they probably evolved in shallow inland lakes. Um, one example of this is the terapsis. That's this guy here. Terraps, yeah, terraps, teraspis, there we go. The teraspis, uh, they were fairly slow. They were bottom dwelling fish um, and they were covered with, the, with plates, you can kind of see here, um, the, of this heavy, calcareous armor. Their mouth was a round sucker um, near the bottom of the head end. The evolution of jaws in fish was another important event. It also happened here in the Devonian period. The earliest jawed fish was actually called the placoderm, and that's a whole family of fish, the placoderms. Um, placoderms had upper jaws that were firmly attached to their skull. They had a gill slit behind the jaws, and they had paired fins. So that's starting to sound like the fish that we recognize. Another kind of jawed fish that evolved at this time was the shark. This is called a cladicelaki. Clad oh my goodness, I should have practiced saying this one. Cladicelaki, an early shark that appeared at this time. And you can see this also has gills and paired fins and jaws. Placoderms evolved rapidly into new forms. Um, and they actually went extinct at the end of the Devonian period. Uh, the dominant forms of fish became bony fish. So these guys, the sharks have cartilage, but the bony fish with actual bones um, became the dominant form of fish. Um, cartilaginous fishes like the shark also uh, were, there were still a lot of them, but there were a lot more bony fish. Uh, they both evolved simultaneously. Some bony fish developed armor on their bodies. This is the Dunkleos, oh, I did practice this one, but I forgot it again. Dunkleosteus. It was so huge. And you might have even seen fossils of this in museums because it's, it's just so impressive. But it was a, a, pack, a placiderm. And it didn't actually have teeth it had two pairs of sharp bone-like plates. There was also a lot of other things going on. Fish were a really big part of this, but at the same time, plant life was going bonkers. So we talked about how the first vascular plants developed in the Silurian period, but the plant life on land became more and more diversified and increasing oxygen levels on land was making land more adapted to life on land, which is probably 
why we get the first amphibians at this time as well. But we'll talk more about them when we get to the Carboniferous period. So a couple of examples of plants. We have the Le Leclerchia, which developed at this time. This is a vascular plant. And also the Trimerferite, which is, here it is, down here. This also appeared in the Silurian, or Devonian, but I'm gonna put its card in the Silurian just because I'm kind of out of room. Another exciting thing happened in this period too. The Devonian period was just super exciting. So we've got fish, we've got the very first amphibians that we'll talk about more later. We've got explosion of plant life, and then guys, insects. The first insects appear during this period, and what's crazy is that many of them are in the exact same form that we still see them today. So that's the Devonian period. And at the end of the Devonian period, there was another mass extinction. Whenever we see these big blue lines, that means there was a mass extinction where a lot of animals and plants um, went extinct. So we'll talk about that more in our next video.